Hey, welcome back to the workshop. Today I am redoing the suspension bushings on the real, rear trailing arms. Uh, I got one done, well I got one out, uh, and I, here's, here's the one I pulled out. Uh, you know, they're pretty, they're okay. They're kind of dried out, kind of cracking, but you know, I'm redoing the suspension, so might as well redo the bushings. Uh, I started pressing them out and I ran into a little trouble um, and I found a video online for doing the front suspension from a, a YouTube channel called Car Tapes. And the guy did a really good job explaining it. But basically what you should do is these press in um, into, the, into the body of the trailing arm. What you want to do, though, is bang, them, bang in the inner shell of the bushing before you try to press it out. Cause I guess it gets stuck, right? And I was starting to bend my trailing arm a little bit. So I used, started hammering on it, but I'm using my air chisel here and it's way easier. All you really need to do is get up on there on the edge and just give it a little, give it a little blast. And you can see the shell of the bushing starts to pull away from the body of the trailing arm. And that makes a huge difference. It pressed out a lot easier. So I'm gonna go around and do this one and then we'll put it in the press. Be right back. Okay, it took a little bit of a lining, but I got it in the press using a series of sockets that are a good size, but you can see it fits right around where the metal shell is and I'm starting to push it through. Took a few tries to get it right. Now it's kind of going. Yeah, I'm gonna have to reposition it. Takes a few tries because it's a bit of a balancing act as you can see. All right, there we go. I just got the snap. You'll hear it snap when it breaks free and it will crush in here a little bit. I should have put some like a spacer in there, but it didn't, I can probably just bend it back, but now it's kind of in, there it goes. There, man, finally, jeez. Ugh, there we go. Yeah, so be careful. Don't damage your suspension parts, but that seems to be working for me. I'll go try the other side now. Oh boy, I still got the uppers left to do. Hopefully those will be a little easier. All right, if I find anything interesting doing the uppers, I'll post that as well. Until next time, thank you.